we have Devon Akum Purcell on the left, Mikhail McIntosh on the right, head coach Dan Muller in the middle. Open it up for questions for players and Coach Muller. Devon, could you just talk about the first half and how much confidence maybe that, that gave you guys just playing them to a draw in that first half? Um, I said we came in the game with the mindset to just give it all we got. Um, once we started, we could compete with them. Um, I felt like, like that was a great, um, that was a great confidence. That gave us confidence to, to come out so we have the same way. That's not for sure. Coach, how well do you think your guys competed throughout? Yeah, I thought we competed very hard. Um, you know, first half to hold them to one offensive rebound. Was, was outstanding now. I'm sure Cal had some things to say about that at halftime, and, and clearly they came out and, and, and it hurt us in the second half. Um, I thought foul trouble really hurt us, first half and second half. Uh, but we competed. Um, their length around the rim killed us, especially in the second half. But uh, they, these guys played hard. Did you all sense that you could maybe disrupt them a little bit once you realized Tyler Eulis wouldn't be out there on, the, on their offensive end the way he always seems to be in command of them, not being in there? Yeah, Tyler's obviously extremely important to their team. Um, we feel like we can disrupt most teams. And that's kind of how we go into every game with the way we press and trap and the different things that we do defensively. And I thought we got them flustered early. Now, they kind of got a handle on it, um, and, and we couldn't really get them going as much in the second half. But throughout the game, part of that was foul trouble. Couldn't be as aggressive as I wanted to be, but um, you know Tyler is, is, is certainly their their floor general and terrific with the ball. Coach, Coach, what was it about Kentucky that said we can punch him in the mouth and we can compete? About Kentucky? Well, I don't know if there's anything about Kentucky with that. I mean, I, I think that you know, we we've, we've had a really hard schedule. Uh, we played at San Diego State. We played Maryland already. We played a couple other very good teams and. And we've been in every game. And so I think our guys have a belief we can play um, with almost anybody in the country if our minds are right. You know, we, have, we have to play better. Um, but I, I don't think, I don't know if it says anything about Kentucky, to be honest. I think it's just says something about our group and how, how we, we can compete most nights. Coach, you said before the game that you could give perspective to Kentucky and Maryland yeah. after the game. So what would you think? Oh. <laughs> Well, obviously they're, they're missing one of their best players, and um, would the game been different with the playing? I don't know, but you know, both teams are unbelievably long at the rim. Both teams have, you know, especially Tyler's healthy point guards that are probably in the top, maybe the top two to be honest, but the top five in the country as far as point guard play. Um, and then they've got dynamic scores on the wing, so. Um, a little bit different. Maryland's more physical inside uh, with their with their physicality, but um, it'd be a heck of a game. Coach, can you talk about Roland's performance uh, coming out just as a true freshman, shooting a pretty good percentage uh, at Ro Yeah, Ro Rose had uh, you know Rose extremely talented. He's had a couple games where he's been unbelievably good. He's had some games where as, as a freshman he hasn't been quite as good. And nerves have got him. It's kind of unique because. At San Diego State and here is probably his two best games, probably two of the toughest places we play. And so, um, you know, seven for ten against that length. Um, he's good with the ball. He can finish. Um, he's he's competitor. But the other part I think that really helps is when he sees that those starters in there competing. I think that gives him confidence. So I think it's a credit to these guys and, and some of the other guys on the team to help you know give those guys off the bat confidence. Mikhail, could you talk a little bit about Paris not uh, being in a lot of the game because of foul trouble, and you and uh, Devon had to handle a lot of ball handling, especially with uh, Keyshawn not playing tonight? Yeah, Coach trusts us to bring up the ball. We uh, work on our ball handling all the time, and Coach uh, trusts us in practice to bring it up. So we we miss Paris because he's our floor general, but we were comfortable because we, we've done it before. It wasn't something that we haven't been taught or, or anything like that. So I think it wasn't that much pressure because we've done it before. Coach, uh, the scale of this year was uh, unaffected, not productive in the game. What was the plan with him to try to contain him? Well, we were going to double in the post. He didn't really give me any post touches, to be honest. Um, we wanted to be physical with him, try to limit his post touches. You know, the way we play sometimes can disrupt offensive flow. Um, I think that happened tonight. Um, but I think that uh, their head coach limited him a little bit also. 
you know, we need to teach him a lesson. We need to play a lot. He wouldn't have foul trouble. So clearly he wasn't competing like Cal wanted him to. And um, he obviously gets those guys playing hard. So we wanted to limit his touches, uh, box him out as hard as we could, and uh, disrupt their offensive flow with, with the way we play. Coach, before the game, you said that the atmosphere here wouldn't be that much different than the one at San Diego State. Would you agree with that again after playing tonight here? Yeah, I mean, San Diego State's one of the toughest places to play in the country, and um, clearly this is too. But as far as, you know, the atmosphere comes down to how loud does it get, how often um, the setup of the arena. Um, but they were very similar, I would say, with, with the volume, um, with how often it got loud. And, you know, this game had so many fouls. The flow of it wasn't great, and so it's not like the crowd I felt like ever could really get into it. Uh, Devon, could you just talk maybe about what this game will do for you guys going forward? <coughs> um, I feel like th this game tonight is going to help us in the long run so we'll know how to close out games, especially playing like Kentucky and Maryland, like with those bigger teams. So I feel like it'll help us definitely in our conference and then in the conference tournament. Any other questions for the coaches, please? Okay, thank you. Thank you.